So you know nothing about effects in Unreal 5. Not a problem. Now I am a firm believer that the fastest way to learn something is to reverse engineer a professional's work. So let's say you wanted to make sparks. Well, if you right click, Niagara, Emitter, and Directional Burst, hit the plus, and finish, you're done. Now technically now you could drag it into your scene and call upon it when you want. But let's take a minute to see how it really works and how we can make it a little better. As usual on the right is the details panel for everything you click on. Every effects is basically just a combination of different modules that you can add or subtract to the main stack. For example, right now the sparks are going through the world and that is because there are no collisions. If we wanted it to collide, under particle update, you just say add collision. And if you compile and play, now you can see your particles will collide with the environment. You see how the sparks are falling down with gravity? That's because there's a gravity module right here. Can you guess what happens if we remove it? That's right, no more gravity. So you kind of see how this works. Each module adds some kind of effect on your stuff. And to make effects, you basically just keep adding and subtracting modules until you're happy. Now normally it will just play once and then end, but if you wanted the effect to stay forever, under the emitter state, you could set it to loop and decide how often it loops just like this. So if we set it to two, this effect will loop every two seconds. Under emitter update, we have spawn burst instantaneous. Under spawn count, you can control how many sparks are generated so if you set it to something like 10 only 10 sparks will be created if you set it to 500 you will see a shitload of sparks everywhere under particle spawn and initialize particle you will see the lifetime is set to random so each time a spark is created it gets a random life between 0.8 and 1.75 but if we wanted the sparks to last longer we could increase these values to something like 1 and 3 so now the earliest a particle will die is 1 second and the longest a particle will stay alive is 3 seconds under under color mode you'll be able to set the color to whatever you want or if you have a specific value for the RGB and the alpha you can set them manually here. Normally they go from 0 to 1 but if you go beyond 1 then you will get emissive lighting which is cool. And you want to be cool right? Of course you do. Peer pressure. See it's not always bad. Under sprite attributes you see the min and max possible sizes. X is horizontal stretch and Y is vertical stretch. So if you set the maximum Y to something really long, now you can see that sparks will randomly be super long. Under add velocity, we have what controls the movement of the sparks. For example, if you set it to linear, they will go straight like a laser. However, if we set it to point, it will explode equally in all directions like a firework. By default, the sparks are set to cone, and you can control the spread of the cone here. Think of it like accuracy in a video game. The smaller your cone, the more accurate your shots can be. The larger your cone, the more possible directions your shots can miss. A 5 degree cone means the accuracy of your sparks is going to have a 5 degree margin of error. If we set it to something like 90 degrees, now the sparks can happen anywhere between a 90 degree angle. Drag controls air drag, so the higher the number, the more drag will slow down your particle over time. The sprite renderer has a bunch of important stuff, but the most important thing for you to know is alignment. Right now, velocity is aligned, so the sprite faces the direction that it's going. However, if you turn it off, you will see the sprite defaults to facing straight up the whole time. So just know that that stuff is controlled here. Anyway, there's a lot more, but I thought this was a pretty good start for you. So I hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around. <laughs>